to the Exhibits Workcycle Sprint 2 uh, demo. Uh, we're going to have a fairly quick demo uh, this week. Um, we're just going to show a couple of the, the main features we've worked on this week. Uh, the first is uh, bulk actions, uh, which we actually uh, covered a little bit last week. Um, but last week, we had only two of the three options that are part of the bulk actions feature working. Uh, this week we added the third option, so I'm just going to quickly uh, uh, review how bulk actions works and show you the, the um, all three of the, the options real quickly. Uh, so the way, uh, well, well, the purpose of bulk actions again is to help uh, curators uh, more quickly uh, change visibility of items in the exhibit, uh, to add tags to multiple items at once in the exhibit, and to remove existing tags that have been applied to um, you know, many objects in the exhibit that uh, they want to remove a tag from uh, in bulk. And so uh, let's see, I'm just going to do a quick um, uh, item visibility search here because I know in this exhibit, this is just a test exhibit, but I've made a bunch of things private previously. Um, and there are various reasons to exhibit curators sometimes want to make items private, you know, it's often it's just temporary while the data, the metadata is remediated or, or um, other reasons they want to hide it from the public for a while, but then they need to make it public again so um, exhibit visitors can see the item. So imagine that's a scenario here where I've made uh, these 57 items uh, private uh, previously and now I'm ready to share them with the world again. So basically, I just need to make a, a get a search result that includes all the items uh, that I want to take action on. And in this case, I just did it by selecting the private from this item visibility uh, facet. So all the 57 items here um, have currently are marked as private. Uh, I want to make them public. So I go to the bulk actions uh, button here. Um, and again, this is an option only visible to the um, curators of this exhibit. And when I select bulk actions, I see the first item here is change item visibility. I'll select that and I'll just change the uh, option to public, select change, uh, verify that I really wanna uh, affect every item in this current search result. And we get a message telling us that the visibility of these items is um, uh, being changed. Uh, now with 57 items, it will take it won't take too long, but it'll take a few minutes uh, for that um, that change to be reflected in all the items. I'll refresh here, um, and maybe that took place uh, more quickly than I expected. So I think I actually all if I do a search here, um, we'll see that all those items that were previously uh, private are now public. So that one was pretty quick. Uh, the the second option here um, was. Uh, adding tags. So again, I'll just show how that works really quickly. I'm going to do a search here. I know I have some objects in here that have photograph in the title um, uh, or the metadata uh, in some cases. So I've got uh, 17 items here in the search result that have photograph in their metadata. And let's just say I wanted to add a tag for those to help users find uh, all the photograph related um, items in this exhibit. I can do add tags. Um, this tells me I've got 17 items from the current search result and any tags I add here are gonna be applied to those 17 items. So that's what I wanna do. I'll enter the word photograph and um, I could add more tags just in the same way I did here. So we could do multiple tags applied to these um, items in the search results um, in one shot, but I'll just add that one tag right now. Uh, again, verify that I want to add this tag to all the items in this search result. And we get a message saying tags are being added for these 17 items. Um, again, I'm going to, let's see, I'll go to home, which will refresh the results here. And if I look at the tags, we'll see this um, happened very quickly again. So we've added this new tag photograph uh, to that uh, set of uh, 17 items. Um, looks like I don't have my... Um, uh, exhibit uh, configured to show tags in the search results. Uh, let me do that real quick because it'll make it easier to see the next action I'm going to do. Uh, so I go to metadata and uh, make sure that 
exhibit tags are showing for, uh, looks like they should be showing for, let's move that just in case. Let's go back to home and pick photograph again. Uh, there it is. So you'll see here, this is the tags now showing for uh, all these items. So uh, we currently, in, in some items, of course, have more than one tag. But let's say in this case, um, I realized that uh, photograph is kind of a silly tag to add because we have, um, you know, other ways for users to find photographs. Um, so uh, I've selected photograph to get all the items in a search result that have that tag. And um, now uh, I have the right set of things I want to remove that tag from. So this is what we've added this last week, remove tags. Uh, and so uh, when I select the remove tags action, um, it again tells us we have 17 items in the, in the search result. Uh, the remove uh, action also shows you every tag that is assigned to at least one item in the search result. Uh, and it shows after the name of the tag, it shows you how many items in the search result um, this tag is currently, each tag is currently uh, assigned to. So as we expected, all 17 items in the search result have photograph, but you'll see some of the other tags have uh, fewer um, items um, with that, that tag associated with them. Uh, but I'm just going to use photograph as the example of, of the one we want to remove. So if I start typing, uh, the UI recognizes that we have a tag called that, and I can select it. And now I'll say remove. Asks if we're sure we want to remove that tag. Say yes. And now we get a message saying that that tag is being removed from all the items. And based on the fact that it's been pretty quick so far, I'll refresh. And yep, looks like we don't no longer have any items that have been uh, tagged with photograph, and you'll see in our list of tags, photograph no longer exists. So basically, we just um, uh, added that third option this week that kind of um, completes the bulk actions feature. Um, and we're in the process of rolling that out to the Stanford, um, the Spotlight Stanford exhibits, and this will be uh, available for um, all of our uh, Stanford curators to use on their exhibits. And now I'm going to turn it over to Jesse to talk about a, uh, a related uh, feature called bulk, bulk updates. Uh, thanks, Gary. Um, so yeah, as mentioned, uh, I'm going to uh, show um, uh, a feature that kind of will provide some similar uh, functionality, um, which is available um, uh, called bulk updates. I'm going to actually just be demonstrating this in the core Spotlight um, application, uh, but we do anticipate this being a feature uh, that will be available in the exhibits uh, app uh, relatively soon. Um, so um, in the dashboard for Spotlight, um, there's a new option uh, under the curation uh, sidebar here called bulk updates, um, which you can see that I'm, I am uh, viewing here. Um, so there are three tabs. Um, there's an overview section that gives a bunch of information about um, how to, uh, you know, what, what the options that are available. Um, and then on uh, the second tab, uh, in addition to uh, uh, more um, information uh, and documentation about how this feature works, um, kind of which has uh, good, uh, good uh, details and worth the read, but we'll just show really quickly, um, I'm able to download a kind of a CSV template uh, given the uh, various fields and options that I select here. Um, there's two uh, kinds of fields that we, uh, we have available to us. Uh, so reference fields, uh, the item ID is uh, selected by default and not um, editable because uh, we will need to have this identifier in the CSV when it is uploaded in order to know which document we are making modifications to. Uh, in addition to that, the user can select to add the item's title uh, into the spreadsheet, uh, or sorry, into the CSV. Um, this is not an editable field, so you can't update, or sorry, an updatable field, so they cannot update the title through the CSV, but if that would be a useful reference information when processing that particular uh, row in the CSV um, to know which, which the record is. Um, 
we currently support two uh, kinds of fields that you can update uh, via this uh, bulk update. Um, similarly to what Gary was just showing, um, you can uh, update the visibility. So if, whether the item is private or public, um, and we also have the ability uh, to update the tags. Um, if you only want to update one or the other, um, you can download the CSV with just that data. Um, so you don't have to kind of worry about um, uh, the other um, option coming through. Uh, but for this case, I'm gonna show kind of what we would do if we were downloading um, both at the same time. So with visibility and tags. Um, the, one of the kind of key differences from what was being shown before were uh, the updates that Gary was applying was scoped to various searches within the exhibit. Um, this is going to download a CSV file for every single record in the exhibit and allow you to make updates to all of them uh, or a subset of them uh, based on how you decide to process this uh, CSV file. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click download uh, here, and this will take a moment, um, and then it's going to go ahead and download this file. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and pop this open, uh, and hopefully this comes through okay on the screen share. Um, but so what you can see is I, I have a, um, a spreadsheet, your little CSV, uh, that has the item ID column and the item title column uh, as uh, requested as reference fields. Um, we also have uh, the visibility uh, for each uh, of these records of every single record in this exhibit currently is set to be visible, as you can see by um, all of the values being true. Uh, in addition, there is a column for every tag that has been applied in this exhibit. Um, in this case, we've only applied two tags to this exhibit, uh, map and American map, and one of the records uh, here has been tagged with that. Um, kind of going back over to show um, our kind of tags dashboard uh, kind of re also reflects that information. We have two tags in this exhibit and only one item uh, has been tagged with each. Um, so um, what this would allow a user to do is to, um, they can change uh, the, uh, the value um, to uh, be what they would like it to be. Uh, so say for visibility, you can, there's a couple of different options, but kind of, you know, the, the easy one is just changing the visibility to false. Um, they, uh, with re regards to tags, if you would like to add the tag for a particular record, um, you would write, uh, you would you know, apply something like true uh, into the column uh, to apply, to add that tag. Um, if the tag, if the record already had the tag and you wanted to remove it, uh, you could write the word false. Um, so in like in this case, um, we could put, um, you know, false and that would actually remove this tag um, map from this particular uh, record here. Um, as an example, uh, and also just for kind of demo's sake, um, I have a smaller uh, subset just to kind of show the um, uh, kind of the, the fact that that was all of the records, but say I had taken that um, uh, uh, set and pared it down to just three records that I wanted to um, set the visibility uh, to false to all of these records. Again, this could be all, every single record in the exhibit, but I'm just going to do this to a handful um, for expediency's sake. Uh, and then similarly, I'm going to apply um, uh, both the tags map and American map uh, to all of these records. Um, so if back in the uh, bulk updates uh, uh, page, if I click the upload CSV tab, um, we can see we have a pretty simple upload form here. Um, and if I go ahead and then choose um, that, that file that I just showed with the three records and click upload, um, this is going to uh, go ahead and update, uh, upload the CSV file and it's gonna start processing it. Um, because this is only three items, um, this should happen pretty quickly. And I will uh, pop open the tags curation and you'll notice that now um, for each one of these uh, records, uh, it actually in indicates that there are now four items tagged. Uh, and similarly, if I go ahead and look at the um, items dashboard, you can see that the three records that were um, indicated in this spreadsheet have now, now all been marked as private, uh, as well as um, each one of them has now been tagged uh, with both the tags that um, uh, we indicated. Uh, I think that's all we have for now. Uh, we'll probably be uh, kind of, you know, more refinements around some of these features and some new things to show in the next video.
all right well that's all we have we'll see you next week